Hi, so this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. How are you? I hope you guys are ready for your birthday season and that you guys are getting all prepared. And I just want to say I miss you guys. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. I was really under the weather. Um, that That's a whole nother story. But um, we're going to get into the flow of content. And I hope that this time that I'm really back for good and that nothing else takes me um, away from recording. Okay. But let's get straight into it. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would like to see more of my readings in the future. And if at any point you want a personal or you want to, you know, follow me on my second YouTube channel, I post more motivational videos there. Um, or you want to follow me on my Twitter or Instagram where I po post daily horoscopes. All that will be listed in the description as well as the comment section for you to find. Okay. All right, Gemini's for May 16th through the 23rd. Okay, so current energy, we do have the tower, the energy surrounding um, the obstacle or challenge that may come up. We do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. What's your focus or what you should be embracing for this time frame? We have the Queen of Swords. Energy surrounding love. We have the hermit. This goes here. Career and finances. We have the page of wands. And then the advice. We have the hierophant. Um, and I'm going to turn my ring light on. It just went off randomly earlier. So give me a second, guys. But give me one card for my Geminis. For May 16th to the 23rd. Alrighty, and we have romance. Okay, interesting. So let me turn on my ring light and then we'll go ahead and discuss this energy. Okay, guys? I don't know why I just shut off. Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so back to the reading. Let me reposition this. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So overall, the energy that I'm getting Gemini's for this time frame, there's going to be a huge focus on personal relationships. Um, when I see this romance card, I don't think of this just as being love. I'm getting the sense where just in general, there's a focus on your personal relationships and how they could be a lot stronger or what relationships you still want to keep around you. You have a lot of questions in terms of like what's worth fighting for and what's not. Um, so yeah, this is an overall people thing. Okay. Um, I kind of want to clarify it. Yeah, we have recovery. So some of you who have a marriage that's kind of on the brink of like failing or a relationship that's had its rough patches, this is a time frame of healing over your relationships or healing over your overall perspective in regards to love. Because some of you, you're not in a relationship right now, but you want to be, but there's a part of you that has a fear associated with experiencing the same thing over. Okay. Now, what I see here for the first card, we do have the tower representing your current self. So currently you may be going through the process of realizing that certain things are just not as stable as they need to be. Um, this may be in the sense where um, you have a job that's not as stable as it needs to be or a relationship or a friendship, etc. whatever area in your life this may be. But this is you finally coming to a realization that something is not going to work existing the way that it is. Um, and there could be a situation that came up recently or will come up that makes things apparent to you in regards to that, okay? Now, when it comes to obstacle or challenge that may come up, we do have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So the obstacle or challenge that may come up for this week may be either like uh, having a level of motivation. You may not be feeling as motivated to get going as you usually are. 
Um, your energy may just be feeling a little bit slower. And I think that's because like we're going on the brink of like Mercury retrograde. Um, and I don't know what sign it's in. And then I also believe that Jupiter went into Pisces like maybe like what a day or two ago. So that may be causing you to kind of not feel as motivated or able to get going as you would like to. Okay. For others of you, this could be like the sexual energy in your relationship may not be really there either. Um, or some of you like your, your level of confidence, but, oh, and this could also be getting like a creative idea off the ground too. But when it comes to what I see for what you need to focus and embrace on or embrace, we do have the queen of swords. So you guys need to focus on self. This is a time frame in which you guys need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on, you know, getting clarity and understanding in terms of long term what your plan of action is going to be, but also taking time to focus and embrace self so that you can make the necessary changes that you've been putting off too, and get back to self. Because some of you have not been really in the same mind frame or in the best of mind frame, I would say. Now, when it comes to love, no, not love, excuse me, career and finances, I do have the page of wands. So when it comes to career and finances, this is you trying to get going. You may be seeing something either via the internet or a conversation you may have with someone gets you really inspired. Um, you may be inspired by like an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo around you. Or like I said, you may be having like a pep talk that gets you really, really going. Um, but overall, I see this as you guys trying to either find motivation or you guys finally getting inspired via, like I said, a conversation or person or idea or something that you see. You may have certain ideas you want to take action on also, but you're trying to figure out where to start. Now, when it comes to love, I do have the hermit and this is you going into a space of introspection to really gain insight on what's the best thing for you to do moving forward. You may feel as if your relationship has certain issues or things within it that you don't quite understand. You may feel like you need to take a step back from your partner to really gain understanding personally, or you and your person may be on a break anyways, and this may be giving you an opportunity to kind of uh, to take a step back and look at things from a different perspective. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Virgo, or like I said, um, there's either a break that's happening or a needed break to figure things out. Now, when it comes to the advice, I do have the Hierophant. So there's definitely a need for you to take some time to really look at your personal morals, beliefs, and all of the things and make sure that you're living in alignment with that. Um, if you know that, you know, for instance, a good example, if you know personally your morals are you don't deal with married people and you're dating somebody who's married, you may need to ask yourself, are you living in alignment with your own morals? And are you forsaking yourself in the process of personal desires? Okay, not to get real deep with that, but... Yeah, that's something that's coming up here. And then also there's a need for you guys to really understand what your personal beliefs are in terms of spirituality, religion, what have you, so that you guys can walk beside faith and not fear per se. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful and that you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Check out the description box or the comment section if you want a personal, if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter for daily horoscopes or my second channel where I post more motivational videos and topic videos and things like that. All that will be below and I'll see you later. Bye.